we're back, and we are here with uh, Ruben with a buyer's home and choice, a buyer's choice, choice home inspections. And I got to say, radon has been in the news, a hot, hot topic. And I know mm -hmm. that people didn't think radon was an issue in Alberta until we started testing for it, right. which was pretty interesting. But before we get into that, um, Ruben, you guys have been so good um, as a company supporting us, working with us, and, and offering incredible information. Tell us a little about a buyer's home and choice yourself and, and um, how Realtors can get a hold of you guys. Yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, we're, we're a home inspection company like there's many around, but uh, we're a Canadian company that's been in Canada. It started over on the East Coast by a bunch of realtors. And, uh, you know, they moved across the country, across the United States. And, yeah, my brother Jeremy and I have been working in Calgary for uh, about six years full time, and yeah, as a company, we just really strive to comfort and protect our clients with a really top quality home inspection and a whole bunch of extras like warranties and things that you you don't always get elsewhere. So fantastic! Yeah. And I was talking to um, to Martin, who works with you, and he was saying that you have you're 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 a ma master's. Master something. Certified master inspector. Yeah. I don't have the right yeah. words, but it sounded like a very big deal. So you obviously know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like a pretty I don't big know deal. about that, but <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we are, uh, my brother Jeremy and I are certified master inspectors, and it's just a, a good credential to have in terms of achieving the highest level of, of credential in our industry. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to know when you're going in with somebody that's experienced, has inspected thousands of homes, and uh, isn't the new guy on the block, so to speak. But Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So uh, in, in terms of radon, obviously one of the reasons that we wanted to have Ruben on was because that Calgary Herald article on radon came out, and it became a really big deal really fast, and I know that you had a lot of clients bringing it up to you, and there were a lot of concerns you had. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know much about radon, as a very basic question, what is radon and where does it come from? Right, yeah. Radon is a naturally occurring, naturally occurring gas that happens with the breakdown of uranium. And it just happens in rocks and soil in the earth. Natural thing. It's nothing new. It's been in the earth and it's always been there. But uh, we're starting to learn that it moves out of the earth through soils and it can end up in our homes because of, it is a gas. So it can move freely wherever there's openings. So I guess one of the questions is right now, in Alberta, do we need to be worried about it or conscious of it? We need to be conscious of it. I guess and I, I yeah, myself, yeah, I, do we need to be worried? Well, worried, I mean, worried can go to a far extreme, right? But this, this is nothing new, but it is something that we need to be concerned about and be proactive about. So uh, the reason being that it does cause lung cancer, and it's not something you'll know right away. Um, you won't smell it. You won't feel it. Uh, you won't be aware of that. It's just an odorless gas. So it can cause lung cancer down the road. And as uranium breaks down and radon emits things in your lungs, it, it can do that, uh, cause harm. So it's something we need to be proactive about and start testing for is everywhere that we can. Right, yeah. right. So on, on the testing note, and, and we, you and I were able to have a bit of a discussion before this, to say you're just going to go into someone's house today and test for radon and let them know if they have it or if they don't, it's not quite that simple. Right. In fact, I don't test for it. Um, the reason being, it is, it's complicated. Uh, you know, we, we hear the stats and we hear that now new, older studies in Government of Canada did that it said it was 6% of Alberta homes, maybe about 8% in Calgary. Uh, newer studies are saying, yeah, maybe more like 12% of homes could have elevated radons over the rec you know, recommended threshold of 200 becquerel. So, 12% is a little concerning, and so now, how do you how do you address that without scaring people? And that's that's where our conflict comes in. The real testing is uh, the only way to prove it's a problem in a home is a three month test, and that's that makes it a challenge when you're closing a deal or somebody's buying a home. You just don't have that amount of time. You can do testing but you might be getting an elevated result that's, that's a peak in the kind of the blip of radon activity, and it is unpredictable that way. House to house, it can be different. Different time frames, it's different. The summer is going to be better when you have windows open and so on. So you could come into a house, you can test on the spot, and you could get a high reading, which scares people, deals tank, you know how it goes, yeah. right? And you could get right. a low reading, 
and it could say, hey, everything's hunky-dory, but really it may not be over the long term or when winter months come and the house is sealed shut. And, and yeah. So obviously given the, the time span as home inspectors, you're not testing it, which will give some advice here uh, to the realtors in a second, how to deal with that with your clients, but how do they test? Where can someone get a test kit? What kind of stuff can they do to do that? Or how is it done? Yeah, well, there's, there's tests that, uh, like I said, there are short-term tests that can be done even on a digital meter. Right. They're not considered a reliable test yet, um, but there's ones that you can just put a device in a home. You, there's recommended places to put it where you spend more than up to four hours a day in a living space that you'd spend that time in and usually lower in the home, as low as possible. But they're, they're ready, readily available. Um, you can look on the Government of Canada website. There's also companies who will even offer them for free. Um, obviously, they're appealing to the back end of what remediation work they might be able to do, but yeah. it's still get tested, right? That's, that's the main thing here is educating people. Get these testers. It's a very easy device to, to just put in your home, and you just don't touch it. So it sounds like that would be the type of thing that to just grab one of those testers, which, any, which anybody can get. You don't go through a company to get a right. radon test kit. Right. Well, you can go to the Alberta government. They're offering them. Or um, uh, the Alberta Lung Association is, is offering kits. And mm -hmm. uh, there's other companies, Basement Systems, uh, was talking about they do testing as well for it. But it seems like one of those things where if you know that you potentially are thinking of listing your home and you think that the buyer might have some sort of qualms or ask some questions, it might not be a bad idea to just get the kit leave it in your house, even for anybody who's not thinking of selling their home. Or if you're thinking of living yeah. a life without or lung cancer. Thinking, totally, that, just get a kit beneficial. and stick and just stick it in your house. Yeah, you know, that's the trick here is, it, like, we, we get the same reservations about people when we say, hey, we've got a great, uh, little plug here, but we've got a great pre-owned home program, you know, we'll come in and do a pre-listing inspection. And some people yes. are like, well, I don't want to know about any problems. Right. So that's the tricky part here. If people are willing to be proactive and get their home tested before they list, that's great. But you might find a problem that needs right. to be dealt with. And you, but you yeah. can disclose that, you can be open, up, uh, open and upfront about it, and that's always for everybody's best interest. But, uh, and if yeah. somebody did find a problem, huge rate on issue, what does remediation look like for yeah. that, cost-wise, time-wise? It definitely depends on the levels that you get. Okay, and again, I'd say long-term test shows you a level that's the average. And uh, if, if they're lower levels or something, you're, whatever you do, you're going to consult with a professional, uh, you know, certified contractor who deals with this. But uh, there's ceiling around the basement, especially where foundation walls meet the slab, and penetration points like a floor drain, gas piping, anything that goes through your foundation or through the floor. And uh, you can seal all of that. There's even floor drains that will allow water to drain down but don't allow gases to come up. Um, I haven't seen really many of those. Like, this is why it's, it's an, we're on the beginning of the curve. So there's yeah. a lot of yeah. little things like that that are not that hard to do. And then the other things are ventilation in the home. So we're starting to see a lot more heat recovery ventilators, which just gives you air movement, which is key. Um, well, I've those heard in general things, just keeping your windows open in your home more often than sure. not is really smart to do radon or not radon. Sure, I mean air quality uh, is a growing concern in general, not just around the radon thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you leave every window, every door open. Usually we recommend Because I don't want us to die. Having a screen to prevent pests from coming in as well and things like that would be good. Sure. <laughs> so, well, so ventilation is good for you. Um, <laughs> It does maybe elevate your heating costs if you're constantly running a, a ventilation source, right? But, uh, you know, getting a heat recovery ventilator is not free. And there's, there's rough-ins and things for that that would be required. Probably in the, you know, $1,500, $2,000. I don't know, right? This is where you get the right people in. But other than that, if you do have an elevated reading and it's, like, concerning, they can do similar drafting from right below the slab of your home and they put a hole with a pipe into it and it draws air out from underneath the house and uh, puts it outside where it can dissipate quickly. So there's definitely yeah. options. Definitely options. It's actually not as difficult and if you're talking about lung cancer, you know, 2000 to $3,000, yeah. I'm going with option B there, right? Yeah, so exactly. it's, it's doable. Yeah. yeah, so here's a recommendation to everyone at home uh, who's out there right now. This isn't going to happen. You can't test it in, uh, and get a reliable test currently in a 10 to 14 day condition period, or really 7 to 10 days is 
you know, most conditions right now. Right. So, so seven to 10 days. So well, how, does that, how does that help you protect your clients? Well, the way you protect your clients is you get on the phone right now, you have a conversation with your database, you send out some emails, make people aware, offer them information on where to get test kits, and you make that happen. And if, even if they're thinking of listing this year, maybe you invest in test kits and you'll reimburse the cost out of the sale of the, the home for mm -hmm. 60 bucks or anything. You can do these types of things, but make sure they get educated and they get the information they need. Mm -hmm. and, and that is where, you know, the point of saying, well, um, I'll just get that instant point, that instant uh, test it's going to give a false sense of confidence if That's it comes true. in low. Or a false or, sense of Or a false of sense of, yeah, fear. So why put yourself in that situation? Let's say your client does need to spend mm -hmm. two or $3,000. My gosh, the alternative is, is huge. And that's, it. that's yeah. a drop in the pan in regards to the long-term sale of someone's home. Like it's just, a, it's such a, you know, a drop in the bucket, I guess. Is mm -hmm. a, thank you for, <laughs> for horrible Adam. But um, anyway, so really, really, today is the process, is the time you need to yeah. educate your clients. This isn't a big deal. Well, and we, we did just have our preferred client update newsletter go out, but we do have close to 300 people um, on that newsletter list for, for you guys who are saying that out to your clients. I'm happy to make sure that we have an article included in um, make, how, to, how yeah. to get those do-it-yourself right on test kits and from the government associations. We'll include some of that content in our newsletter next month. Yeah. Um, Ruben, thank you so much. Any final thoughts on it or... No, I think you nailed it on the head at the last point there. Education, let's not bury our heads in the sand. Yeah. There's might be right on down there anyway. But yeah. Uh, yeah, just educate people. Let's just get every house tested and and maybe hopefully raise the bar on builders. The building codes are coming like they are updated and it's starting to come into play. So we need more rough ins for this stuff. You know, it just needs to be one better done. one final question. This is just because I'm curious. You do a lot of home inspections. Since that article came out, has this been something where you're working with the buyer? And has anybody made a big deal about this yet? No, no. That, and that, that's what I was thinking. I think because, you know, we're in this industry, it becomes a big deal to us. But I was wondering if you had seen that yet. Yeah, I mean, we, we all get kind of the, the media hype. Um, but at this point in time, it's, it's not our responsibility. You know, and we hate to be sound like you're shirking responsibility, but it's not an inspection yeah. thing and it's yeah. not even honestly a realtor thing yeah. but it's everybody's responsibility and most of all a homeowner's responsibility to, yeah. to test their home so educating okay. everyone is is key there but thank yeah. you perfect Ruben thank you guys so much a buyer's choice home inspections um, fantastic um, thank you for giving them of your time today thank, thank you, you guys Ruben. Yeah. awesome we're gonna be right back uh, sitting down with Russ Austin talking about most frequently asked quick connect questions see you guys in a bit